I've had a couple people asking, uh, and rightfully so, for an update on the blue mesh sifters. Uh, so I'm trying to slap that together real quick before I start beetle swap on 180 trays. Uh, so we'll just bear with me. But what we're talking about right now is this. So these mesh inserts that fit down here, had to customize them by cutting off the side. These are not built for these blue trays, but they're gonna work. They hopefully will work. <laughs> um, so what the point of this is, is that it keeps the beetles, uh, the males from eating the eggs. The females uh, use their ovipositor to get down into the bran. There's bran underneath this. They put the eggs down underneath this mesh uh, and then the beetles can't cannibalize it. Uh, so the uh, hope is that because they're not cannibalizing it, because the females have a safe place to lay, the eggs will go down into that. Uh, there'll be less of the cannibalization, more eggs will survive and you'll get more larvae. But is that actually happening? Uh, I just started using those probably a month, month and a half ago. Uh, and so we're gonna walk back. I'm headed back right now. Uh, I found some trays that we can look at. And right now there's nothing large enough to harvest, right? So I can't weigh things out. Uh, I can't compare frass production uh, between the mesh insert trays and the non-mesh mesh insert trays. Uh, so this is just gonna be all observation right now. Uh, but the goal, as you can see, I have Whoop. Lots of these trays, right? Uh, and what I've done is I've put, like right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've been putting like three to four uh, mesh inserts into each cohort. So each one of these columns here is a batch of weekly beetles that are all the same age. Uh, and so, uh, and by same age, I mean this, this stack is the same age. This stack is one week older than this one and one week older than this one all the way down the line, right? Uh, so we've got age variants here as well being tested and compared. Uh, but let's look inside of these trays just to kind of see what things are looking like compared to the regular brand trays. Sorry, not the regular brand trays, the regular non-mesh insert trays. I'm also gonna take a video today about some organic brand that I've been testing. Really interesting. Uh, anyway, so let's take a look at the mesh trays first. I've got three of them here. Uh, and what I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at these guys and then look at the uh, non-mesh equivalents uh, just to see if there are any any differences, right? So honestly, just looking at it, we've got brand. It looks like a regular standard tray compared to that regular standard tray. Uh, the beetle wings there, uh, that's, that's not related to this at all, I don't think. Although the mesh will keep the beetle uh, wings out. Uh, so that's one positive, one less thing that ends up in the end product. I like that actually. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my hands through here and we're going to see how that looks. We'll give the mealworms a second and you can see some of them in there being still. Yep, they're starting to move around a little. You can see the, br it looks like the bran is moving, right? But you can catch some larvae there on the right hand side. They're starting to hide. They don't like the light, so they're going away. So there is movement in there. Honestly, it looks kind of standard to me, but again, they're so small at this age that being able to compare is going to be really hard. It's good that there's larvae in there moving around. That means they are laying through the mesh and so far things are on a good track. And so you can see the larvae in there as well on the non-insert trays. Maybe it's just me, but it kind of looked like there were more in the previous one. But again, this is a, a single tray, right? We'll know more when we look at 180 of them uh, with, you know, three to four per stack. So what's that? Uh, four times 10, 40 of, the, 40 of these versus 140 of the regular brand. Let's take a look at the next stack. And again, we've got mesh labeled here and then non-mesh. So let's just run our hands through. So the, this stack is a week older from a beetle perspective. And again, we'll give them a moment. They're starting to move around. So that's good. I mean, we've got movement, which means the females are successfully laying their eggs. So that's a good start. It feels like there's more in here, but that might just be me being biased. All right, let's go to a non-mesh insert tray. And again, you're gonna see them moving. Yeah, see, like I see a lot more movement there than I did in the other one, the other non-mesh. So, 
really hard to tell right now. But honestly, that's what I was expecting. I don't expect to have good usable uh, data on this until this entire cohort is harvested, which uh, I honestly can't remember. I've got these clips and I don't have the date uh, of those clips uh, right now. Um, but this one is probably gonna get harvested in another two months. Uh, it takes about three to three and a half months right now from putting these trays in here to actually harvesting them the first time. Uh, so that's really when we're going to start seeing results is in another couple months uh, Unless some of these have uh, some mesh inserts and I just missed them this morning in my quick check um, But from that point forward as we go this way all of these have mesh inserts. So we're going to be comparing this over time uh, Before I go bonkers and just put mesh inserts into all 180 ish trays here um, Because I can't just switch switch things over right away without validating that I'm still going to be able to produce the volume of mealworms I've been producing. Uh, I have to survive capitalism, right? So um, that's why this kind of middle ground right now with some of these mesh inserts being used, uh, I am confident it's going to produce more. I've heard from multiple people uh, that that happens, but honestly, I, I need to prove it, right? There's nobody living on my road or in my community that I can go say, hey, show me this. Uh, and so nothing against the folks that have reached out and said, yep, it's going to work. Uh, I have to validate this. Uh, again, in the U.S., surviving capitalism. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, let me know what you thought between uh, the trays that were there. Uh, I'm going to make a quick update about the organic brand testing, get that posted as well, uh, and away we go.